Alright guys, welcome, it is me, Jam Sankith, and here we are, back again on NASCAR 15, and, <clears throat> oh, sorry about that guys, yeah, we're back here on NASCAR 15, and before, real quick, before we start the race, or before we check the qualifying, if any of you guys have NASCAR 15 on the PS3, let me know, because I would love to race you guys, maybe, maybe if you're another YouTuber as well, we could actually get together and do a few videos, but it's up to you guys, uh, yeah, but we're here at Richmond International Raceway, for the final race of the regular season. <clears throat> I don't know what this is with my cough here, but anyway, we're already in the chase. We've we've certainly signed up as chase spot by winning the first race of the well no, by winning the first three race first two races of the season, you know. First two or three races, sorry. But here we are. We're here at Richmond, like I said. It's gonna be a night race. <clears throat> oh sorry about that guys, I'm I, I am terribly sorry, but Anyway, yeah, we've got Jimmy Johnson on the pole position, Kyle Busch in second, and we qualified third, so, but, but might, we might be third, but we're going to be on the inside for the turn one, so, so that's good, so, uh, Brian Vickers rounds out the top ten, uh, Austin Dillon finished 15th, qualified 15th, and, uh, yeah, the last time, there's a link down below in the description for Darlington, Darlington could qualified last, sadly, but, there's a link down below in the description for Darlington, check that out. And also, there's a link down below in the description for the last race that was held here at Richmond, which, um, well, I'm going to spoil it here, but you can guys can probably go watch it. Well, you guys go watch it now. I'll give you a couple seconds to do that. Alright, so guys, if, if you guys aren't here that have seen it, are you going to watch Well, no, I'm not going to... No, I'm not, oh, okay, no, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I was going to, but now I decided not to... It wouldn't be fair, because some of you guys would think, well, I'll watch it after this. You know, so it wouldn't be fair, but here we are. Brad Keselowski started with Ford in the 2015 season. But anyway. Okay, so, oh, I've got a friend online. I'm probably going to be invited soon. I will race with you soon, mate. I'm just recording a video, my friend. So, anyway, so, yeah, we're here at Richmond International Raceway. Darlington, it was a good race for us. A good race for a few other guys as well, so... Anyway, so we're here at Richmond for the final race of the regular season. Eh, well, we just need to get through these 40 laps here today at Richmond, and, uh, yeah, we will have to get through these 40 laps at Richmond and, and get through to the chase, because... Okay, Johnson's on pole, the M&M's crispy car is in second, we're in third with his normal paint scheme, so... Anyway, and... Yeah, uh, what can I say? I want to win this race. There's no pressure to win this race, apart from bonus points because we're going to be tied with Gordon at the minute. If we, if we go into the chase with four wins apiece, so here we go. <clears throat> I just had to have another slight cough, but here we go. The green flag is going to be out, and we're going to be racing here at Richmond International Raceway. For the race 25, I believe, or race 26, but anyway, well, yeah, it'll be race 26, so we, can we get into turn 1 in the lead? We go for the lead at turn 1. Okay, we get door slammed by Kyle Busch. Okay, I think Kyle Busch wanted to... Did we seriously get crashed into on the start of the race? What the hell? People do not want me to win this race, do they? Look at this. We're sideways and we're around for the first lap of the race. Can you believe it? What the hell was that? We got door slammed by Kyle Busch. And then Casey Kane turned me. You know, I'm beginning to fall out with you, Casey. But anyway, yeah, we... Yeah, big ma big mess of cars. Uh, and we was involved in it, sadly, and we're at the back of the field, so... We don't need to repair the car. Uh, okay, so the... Well, we're going to be 40th on the outside. Not a good start. Not a good start, but, uh... Oh, he's gone offline now. I wish I could have replied to that message while I was busy here. I'm sorry, mate. You you will see... Well, no, it'll probably be a few weeks after we complete... No, maybe a few days after we complete the co-op, this will be, but... Yeah, so we restart here. We Okay, we've been tagged by Biffle already, but we got Casey Kane behind us. Did I do anything on toward going into turn one? I don't believe I did. As we're coming out of turn number two, well, turn two there, so... Going into three, we've got Jeb Burton running us down the inside of the track, so... 
they're very they're very aggressive here early at uh, Richmond so I was just driving Richmond like I normally drove Richmond down into turn one I saw a gap always oh, sliding off turn number two that might be something to do with the damage when Kane turned us but uh but yes okay oh that's gonna be oh no that's okay coming off turn number four there can we get on the inside of Ty Dillon yes we can what about an Almondinger is he gonna door slam us in the four in the uh, Chevrolet I believe no, yeah he's in a Chevy yeah, we're gonna we're gonna set Toyota and then Ford but okay so on the brakes for turn number three we're not too bad we got Chase Elliott on his outside can I get around Michael Lynette and JJ Yaley going side by side three wide into the first turn as we go up the track because we didn't get on the brakes early enough but we're coming off the corner okay Almonding is there but I'm gonna dive it into turn two uh, three sorry Can we get a... Okay, so we settled into 35th. It's a good job that we are in the chase because there's no pressure on us, you know, to actually do finish well here or point us way in, so... Okay, Almondinger. Okay, okay, okay. What is it with these drivers today? They really don't want me to, you know, have a good finish again. Sorry, Ricky. Yeah, they really don't want me to finish well, do they? Around the outside, Ricky can't go around the outside, so we cut back to the inside, down into one. Can we keep, you know, keep it from anyone bumping us out? I believe we can. Yeah, so we're racing for 35th position over, oops, sorry, Ricky. But yeah, we're racing for 35th position. Not where we would have wanted to be racing when we qualified in third, but... Lap nine, hey? And we're already in what position? 35th so okay what is it am I not going quick enough going into these corners or what because the, there's something that these drivers look there we go that was me, me probably coming down a little bit and it didn't even back out of that so yeah what is it with these drivers am I not going quick enough for them or something because we're on the same difficulty as we was before last time we came to Richmond so Coming off turn number two, Ricky Stenhouse into the wall. There were no contact, but sadly for Ricky, he ended up in the wall, so. Can we get, avoid sliding off turn number four? Not quite, but we're not too, it's not too much of a problem, so. Ten laps down, 30 to go here at Richmond. And we've already been involved in one caution, so. But that was because Casey Kane bumped me out. If he wouldn't have bumped me out, but then again, it wouldn't have started if Kyle Bush didn't bump me out, so. Okay, so what can we do with Michael Waltrip? He had a great finish at Darlington. Well, he had a great run at Darlington as we... Well, we door slam him going into one. I might as well start being a little bit aggressive towards these if they're being aggressive towards me, so... It must be this paint scheme. I must have confused them with that paint scheme I ran at Darlington. But yeah, it's... Well, no, because we had problems with Newman in that race, didn't we, so... But all we need to do, I'm not focusing on winning this race. All we need to do is get through this race and get to the chase. No pressure. I would love to win, but there's no pressure for us to win, so. Okay, so now we're starting to find his feet. Now that we're not being bumped into by anyone, but 2098 for that lap as we go deep into turn one, but we'll, it's allowing us to get a good run out of the corner. What can we do? On these two, 32nd is a possibility if we can get on the inside. Don't crash into any of them. McDowell goes to the inside. Yeah, but we go through the middle, sort of, on the exit, so... David Gilland, he's holding on to the 31st spot, which I want, and then Paul Menard and Casey Mears to get into the top 30. So, go on the inside of Gilland. He sends us to the inside a little, a bit of an acute angle going in, I believe to turn three but we off turn three well off turn four in 31st so now we've got the Richard Childress number 27 of Paul Minard ahead of us so come on okay don't hit the wall that was because we got sideways a little but don't hit the wall too many times James just think if we didn't have that problem on first lap of the race we probably would have been winning but anyway we can't think of what if that's hindsight. You cannot be thinking hindsight in racing. We just got to go on to the next race at Chicagoland and try and win there. 
you know, because it's in the chase. We need to advance to the next round of the chase somehow, whether that's winning or at least staying out of trouble, being in the top, I think top 12, yeah, being in the top 12 after the first round, so. And with the way these races have been going, I don't think, well, Darlington was the exception there, but uh, around the outside of Palminard, not quite. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not ignoring you, mate. I'm, I hope you don't think I am. Cause I'm just busy recording. I, I, I wish I could have paused the video to, you know, try and re well and reply to your message. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry, mate. I'm sorry, man. But anyway, we're on the outside here of Palminard. You see, see Casey. That's how you go side by side with someone. But anyway, yeah, we're fighting with Palminard. I want to get round you, Mr. Minard, in the 27. Are we being? Are you being held up by Casey Mears, though? That's the question. I don't think you are, but uh, okay. I'm going to take another line like I did on on uh, Gilliland, I believe it was. Yeah. Around the inside, and we're through to P30, so we're in the top 30 basically. Now on the brakes for turn one, can we get around Casey Mears in the Geico number 13? I remember when that used to be a Ford. That used to be a good-looking car when it was a Ford as well. So. But we're through to P29, making his way towards the front, but it's not going to be enough. Because we're within, well, we've got 19 laps to go now, so. 19 to go, so we're just after halfway. Kyle Busch is leading. I believe he's going to lead every lap of this race then. So, it's not going to be Gordon that doesn't look like he's going to sweep at, you know, Richmond. But, uh, we need to win, though. In the f If we get to the second, you know, the... Almost to the final round of the chase, you know, with the group that Martinsville's in, we're definitely going to have to win before Martinsville, because I am not good at Martinsville. But anyway, we're closing up on our guy with a little tap on the wall, but we go on the inside through turn t three. We go on the power coming off. We're gonna, yeah, we we s easily get past, you know, Justin our guy. I expected it to be a bit more of a fight there with with our guy, but. Uh, Cole Whit, another good finish at uh, Darlington as we get sideways coming there, but he's fighting for the 27th spot here, so. Okay, so we're coming off turn number four, don't. Okay, I hit the wall, but it's not a problem. So the leader has hit lap traffic considering we've only had one caution. So, yeah, uh, Josh Weiss in 26th. Yeah, I don't know. I know I keep saying this, but he did have a good finish at uh, Darlington, so, but then again, some of the drivers that you would normally see up front had a bad finish at Darlington, so, we're passing Josh Weiss down into turn one, easy pass there, I expe I didn't expect it to be too hard with Weiss, but, uh, but I didn't expect it being that easy neither, so we got Greg Biffle, race winner this season, So, yeah, we, we could get a decent finish out of this. Because we're, we're in the chase anyway, no matter what happens. So, even if we, you know, finish this race or retire this race, we're still going to be in the chase. Because at the end of the day, we have them four wins and we're in the top 30 in points. So, I don't know about Reagan. I don't know what he's going to do. Can he get into the, you know, he's got 33 points. I, I worked it out, well, we saw from the last race. After the last race at Darlington to make up to get in top 30, but I don't believe Reagan. Might I don't believe Reagan is doing enough this race. I don't think. But then again, I haven't seen him this race, so he could be. But also, I haven't seen Lebont in either. So who is holding on to the top 30 in points? So as we go deep into one, can we get out of one without any problems? Sort of. Well, no, that's out of two. Sorry. Right, so Greg Biffle and McMurray are fighting, and I don't know, is that Bain ahead of them in the Ford? So, so two Chevy, no, two uh, Chevys sandwiched by three Fords at the minute, so. And I believe that's Carl Edwards. Is it Carl Edwards in the... No, it's not, it's Clint Boyer. It's Clint Boyer in the Michael Waltrip race in 15, ahead of these two in, in the Toyota, of course, ahead of these three, should I say, so... Okay, get down into the turn on the brakes. That's nice coming off the corner. 
That's sweet. Oh, Bane's down into 25th now. Okay. I was focusing on seeing if that was Edwards or not. So, Bane's the biggest loser out of that as we're closing up on this group. So, so we're within 10 laps to go now. Nine laps left here at Richmond as Kyle Busch continues to lead and continues to dominate here after door slamming me down into turn one. So, so okay, can we get on the inside there? That's nice. So we pass another fellow Ford driver. Okay, so what can we do with Biffle? Have we got the have we got the talent the, the talent or the speed to catch Biffle this time? I believe we have. But it, but then again, he's being held up a bit by McMurray. But uh, yeah, so we're not long before the end of this race before finding out who is in the chase. We've had some great races this regular season. We've had some terrible races this regular season. And we have done what we needed to do throughout the season, and that's keep us in top 13 points and win races. We have won four of the, you know, the 26 races, well, the 26 races completed so far. Because even though we're within six laps to go, this one's still not over, so... And there's a big group of cars that, you know, are fighting. And there's there's Bobby Labonte. There's Bobby Labonte. He, he's running well, so I don't think Reagan's going to get it. Unless Labonte has a terrible race here. Or a terrible end to the race, but... Four to go. No, five to go, sorry. It's going to be four to go this time. We've got McMurray in the McDonald's, number one. We're passing... Quite a few cars. Labonte, we were four wide momentarily and we threw to P22. So that was that was good move. That was good racing with you know, with four to go, so But we're not gonna catch that big group ahead of Boyer. No way are we gonna be able to catch them. But I will be happy to finish in twenty first. It's actually my age that we're gonna be finishing in the position, so Okay, so, not long in this race left. We've got three laps to go, two this time, two this time by. Okay, we, we got, it's going to be close with Boyat. It's going to be looking like Kyle Busch is going to be winning this race and uh, securing himself in the chase. I'd, he actually hasn't had a win this season, so if there was any doubt... Uh, the points leader Kyle Busch was going to get into the chase, which I don't think there would have been with him being points leader. This is going to secure his his way in. So anyway, so Clint Boyer and Kyle, well Kyle Busch is leading, coming off turn number two for the final time here at Richmond, the final time this season at Richmond. What can we do with Kyle, with Clint Boyer? He's coming through turn three and four. Kyle Busch is. We're not going to get Clint Boyer because I'm not going to dive it in and bump him out of the way. Kyle Busch wins here at Richmond. To secure his place in the chase, even though he was the points leader. We finish in P22, and we're in the chase. We didn't have to point his way in. We won our way in, but we're still in the chase, nonetheless. So, here are the race results, well, for this particular race. So, okay, so Kyle Busch led 39 of the 40 laps, because uh, Denny Hamlin led one of them. So, the Joe Gibbs Toyotas finished in the top three, um, with the exception of Carl Edwards, I believe. So, oh, sorry about that. Yeah, Truex finished in fifth. Uh, Vickers rounds out the top ten. Carl Edwards thirteenth. Junior fourteenth. He's in the chase, I believe. Uh, Keselowski, Reagan seventeenth, and where did Labonte finish? Twenty-fifth. I don't think he's made it. It's going to be close if he does. Danica thirty-third for thirty-fourth. Uh, Yaley thirty-fifth. Jeb Burton fortieth. A lap down, who finished it? Uh, Gilliland was the only ca last driver on the lead lap, and Ty Dillon finished last. So the point standings, we will find out. So I don't know who's going to be leading the points. Well, no, actually, me and Gordon will be tied on points because of the chase, because we got four wins apiece. So, so yeah, so it's going to be me and Gordon on the top of the uh, oh, 2014. I remember that because my father was with, you know, stayed over at our house that time. Yeah, so it was Gordon. I remember that Indianapolis. I remember that night. Um, 
Oh, uh, Edward? No, no, Edward. We sleep. Havoc. I don't know why I thought Havoc, uh, Edwards, but anyway. Yeah, so here are the chase standings. Me and Gordon are tied on points with a bonus point. So here's your chase grid. There's me, uh, Gordon, Truex, Edwards, Boyer. Okay, Boyer's got two wins and he's in the chase. Biffle, Stewart, Bush, Blaney, Kenseth, Almondinger, Bush, Kurt that is, Johnson, Allgaier, Stenhouse, and Larson. How the hell did Keselowski miss out on the chase? But anyway, yeah, so Reagan didn't make it, but how many points did he miss out? Oh, quite a few, quite a few points. So, yeah, Reagan didn't make it to the chase, but there's your chase grid, guys. I'll go through them once again. So there's me, Gordon, Truex, Edwards, Boyer, Biffle, Stewart, Bush, Blaney, Kenseth, Almondinger, Kurt Busch, Johnson, Allgaier, Stenhouse, and Larson. So that's going to be the chase standings heading into Chicago in a few days time. I don't know who's going to win this championship, but we've got 10 races to find out. Let me know in the comments guys, who do you think out of these 16 drivers will advance? Who do you think will be the top 12, should I say, advancing to the next round of the chase? So, And I will see you guys in Chicago. And this is beautiful because we're leading the points. We might be tied on with Gordon with the bonus points, but yes, we're in the chase. Let's try and go for a championship.